All right, welcome to the race I have been dreading for the entire week. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of cars ahead of me. And the good news is I did beat someone. Um, one person in qualifying. I am only four seconds off the pace. I am so bad in heavy stock cars on road courses. I'm just terrible at braking. Um, takes me way too long. And then controlling the roll of the car, I have a very hard time with that. So there's smoothness issues, there's control issues, just being aggressive. I can't really do that. Plus, the last chicane is just beyond annoying for me. I finally found a way to get through it. But, um, yeah. There's a quality of racing that I like to have on my channel. And, you know, if I'm slower, at least I'm in control. I don't think we're going to see any of that today. I'm just hoping I don't make a mistake and take someone else out. So... Um, yeah, I was hoping maybe with the road rating I would get in a split, um, where I wasn't completely destroyed, but why are we doing this? I hope this is safe, because the guy from my inside, okay, good, you can't get a black flag. Okay, so. Let's try and not die. There's a lot of cars in front of me. Starting 22nd. Um, 35 laps. Should be about a 70 lap race. We're doing half distance races from this point on. Until get ready, going we get green. to, like, uh, I think it's Darlington maybe the next one. And then the Coke 600 and car is off. all that <laughs> other stuff. Just hoping to get through here without wrecking under pace speed. Here we go! Guys behind are playing it safe. I'm so slow that I probably won't get to the wreck even if I'm going 100%. Yeah, frames are... A it being bad right now, so just taking it easy because it's going to be hard to catch anything at 55 frames a second. This corner. The kink is like the easiest thing in all other road racing cars. I cannot get through it in this car. And then I got very scared that I was going to plow into the back of everyone else. I'm just... So uncomfortable. We're just going to try not to get ran over or run over anyone. It's going to spread out. I have no idea what the tires are going to do after three laps. Um, I'm just going to hope that I can drive it still. Leader is gone. You got, a got a couple of viewers in here at least. One of them's up on the front row. So good job to him. And here we go. First time through there. Got all the people that started in the back and didn't qualify trying to shoot up through here. So just going to let them go. Because there's a very hard turn coming up and they are trying to dive it in and oh my god someone just wiped out everyone behind me it's i don't think they knew there was a chicane there <laughs> this is essentially i'm just on a friday night drive just cruising around you can call it a race but i'm essentially just in a road 
vehicle and not doing a whole lot. But I survived all the first lap mess. Positive. Oop. Grass. Maybe I'll be going so slow that the tires won't fall apart on me. I think I'm one stopping it. I think that's a possibility. Car ahead. Go right. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Okay, almost got taken out there. But yeah, we can go 21 laps right now before we need to pit for fuel. That gets us well past halfway. I have no idea though how long the tires can last. We're just gonna ease in here so I don't dump one of these guys ahead of me. Plus, it's very easy for someone to lose it in front of you and then you're toast. So, I've lost one position since last time, or since the start, but we gained one spot, I think, from the 25 having issues. And I forgot that there's a chicane. I'm so used to the damn, I am just... I'm so used to the 24-hour configuration that I completely forget I have to do something there. All right, put it in the wall, 0x. That's the bad thing when you are so used to one thing. It is so hard for me to switch and go, oh yeah, I gotta slow down here. Especially on the banking part, that's such a strange braking zone. So yeah, if I can get a top 15 just by not wrecking, I will be extremely happy. We're in 22nd, so back to where we started. For some reason, in this car, I go really wide through the entry of that. In every road car, I keep it tight just because it feels more comfortable for me to get through that corner, but this thing I like a nice and wide line. <laughs> Alright, so after this chicane, I need to start thinking because I have a chicane that I can't remember. We're breaking early again. No need to risk getting into him. And I am heating up the rears, getting loose through there. Okay. Let's see. Now it looks like Thomas, a viewer that was talking to me before the race, he has probably got collected in some of that weirdness that happened into this chicane. He is way back in 32nd right now. So, I'm not pushing the car. I am driving to my limit. And maybe... Maybe something will happen if I still have tires and everyone else is struggling to get going. I mean, the mid-pack's really not pulling away that far. And I'm in a nice safe spot, so we should be able to avoid a wreck and spin. Actually, I mean, we're almost so far back that they'll be getting going by the time I get to them, but we got kind of a traffic jam up here. Not sure why. Two point seven behind, and um, yeah, not a whole lot of pressure from behind. Something happened that I didn't see because I think they were a lot closer than that. 
Just get all my braking done in a straight line. Try not to get too sideways and heat the tires up. Remember I've got a chicane here. I don't even remember doing it last lap, so. Once I make the turn, then I brake again, or I shift again. Shifting while turning in this thing, I just start hopping and jumping and sliding. One minute and 56.574. Okay. Well, it appears that I have now reached the point where I've got some slower guys. Damn it. I do that in road cars too when I try to make the pass off the corner. I don't know what causes it to jump sideways there. Lost a lot of time there because I think he was trying to let me go because he had a bit of an issue. Lost about a second. This guy behind caught us by a second, but maybe that'll allow the three cars ahead of us to sort things out. I got in a weird rhythm there. I couldn't downshift otherwise I'd wheel hop and wreck there. All right, so I need to get past the 10. Ooh, scary. Little cut. Little sideways. They're sort of getting sorted out up here. Looks like the 30 maybe got a slowdown or is letting them go. Or it's just using that line to set up for the final chicane. Oh, he breaks way early. I'm gonna have to remember that. I don't wanna be in this. I'm not trying to race. One minute fifty-eight point four. Thirty just overdrove. That's one way to pass him. Let him make a mistake. Just hope he does not make a mistake right behind me. I don't know why that corner is so sketchy. Oh, he's coming in hot again. Dude's not going to have any front tires left. The way he's going, and nah, that was unexpected. Okay, up to 21st. jumping sideways on me. I had to just recover. I did not like how it was feeling. I can't drive this car sideways at all. GT3, I can be a little sideways through there and enjoy it, but this... Not too much. I did not want to hit those. Those really lose your time. One minute fifty nine point zero two eight. Just being easy on the throttle. Nope. That's not easy on the throttle. 
shifted down too early. 30's just looking to run into people, I think. I know I was very slow through there, but dude's just driving in as hard as he can and then somehow getting it to stop. I don't know how he's doing that, but we're going to get wrecked here probably. Protect the inside so he doesn't try to do something and knock us off track. That wheel hop is really going to have hurt my tires. Like, I, the guy's great under braking because, fuck me, where did that come from? <sighs> well, my first mistake. That just jumped and went sideways out of nowhere. I don't even think I was getting on the gas that hard. Got that there is a corner, it's all gone to hell. We're just gonna skip that. If you got that corner, you got a slow down penalty. Break a little early and clear. Uh, like I said, this is not the type of content I want to put out because it's just me looking really bad. Thirty cars went off the track again. Guy just needs to wreck already. Accelerating harder once we get to the track. There goes one. That was a Strange place for him to spin. That's the 25. He's had a rough race. That brings me back up to 23rd. Remember, there's a chicane. Because I nearly forgot again. I'm trying to be as smooth as possible to get these tires cooled back down after that spin. I assume they are, but. Just trying to survive my own badness. So we got 4.6 to the next car. I know I'm losing a lot of time through there, but... I just cannot take that at speed, if there is such a thing. I might be slow enough out of that corner now that I can just stay in first gear all the way to the next corner.
thing's just so hard to get going. It just feels like it's not even connected to the track. One minute, I think it's just the infield section. I think I am catching them. Really didn't lose too much out of that. Six seconds. And avoided 30 cars uh, once again. I assume he's eventually going to wreck. Might I shift up? I said I was going to try not. I mean, I've survived longer than I thought I would, so that's a positive. Get me in a GT3 and I can kind of look competent. This thing exposes me. There we go. There we go. Hell of a lot easier entrance there. You cut that corner and got a slow down <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what the hell that was. Break early. We don't lose too much time. With the brake bias. As forward as I can get it right now. Maybe that'll help me. Two minutes. Two minute lap and I can't even remember what I want to try every time I get there. Amazingly, no one in the 23, 22 cars ahead of me has wrecked in the last... We, we had that one guy, but he was close to us. No one up front's even thinking about wrecking. I remember there was a thing. Thirty cars finally got past the ten, it looks like. And we're just kinda hanging in the same spot. That was not good. Do not want to get the tires hot again. Thirty cars drove off the track one more time. Maybe he didn't. It looked like he did. No, nope, he's good. It sure looked like he completely missed the corner and the 10 was trying to dodge him again.
All right, so we've lost about a second to the car ahead of us. We are pulling away from the cars behind. I assume they're all damaged. We are in 21st, so there was someone who has wrecked out up in the front. Somehow it ended up going in there too hot, even though I'm braking most likely way too early. Oh, you know what? It looks like the leader pit. That's what it was. Or one of the leaders. Looks like he's doing a double stop or he can make it from this. I forgot again. This <laughs> is... I'm so bad. I'm so... So not mentally in this. I cannot talk and drive on a track that is not the same as what I have in my head. That was a big chunk of time we lost. Again, not the quality content I'm looking to bring to this channel. Circuit of Americas is going to be bad. Coda's hard enough in a real road car. I can't I can't even fathom how bad I'm gonna be there. up into the chicane and had issues and is spinning. Let's not focus on that. Let's try to get through the chicane ourselves. Hey, there's a chicane coming up. There's a chicane coming up. Do not forget. Don't forget. like every third lap. I just got scared to break there. someone having issues or just pit or something. It's a car that I have not seen. The white car ahead of the 18 that just got back on track. And it looks like he might have hit him. And now who knows where the hell he's going to come back on the track. Please don't be there. Okay. At least we had a little time to react. He's got no hood. He's had a bigger issue than spinning off. Um, this guy is racing for the win. And had I not lifted there, he was going to follow me into the chicane. And... He's going to be going much faster through it. I don't want to screw him over if he's still in contention. I see he's got some damage, but I do not need to slow him down. I haven't seen anyone else hitting, so he might not even be in contention. But in case he is, do not want to screw with him because... I am bad, and Jesus.
Alright, well, I'm not the only one forgetting there's a chicane there. Nearly to pitting time. We are in 21st, getting closer to that top 20. I haven't really just kept it on track, but it's close enough, I guess, right? too quick. Luckily it didn't get too sideways on me. New tires are going to feel so good. Hey, there's a chicane. I almost forgot. is ahead of me and has no front end. Are you seriously going to race me through this? Clear. <sighs> Of course, I find the shit bag, and now I'm gonna have to try to get around him. Looks like he's down on straightaway speed. Wonder why. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking idiot. Alright. There's a chicane coming up. This guy's just a fucking idiot. And now he's cheating. And he was doing donuts in practice at pit exit and everyone was having to avoid him. So, I think that's enough for me. gonna show up to shit like this, don't be a dumbass. But uh, I'm guessing he thinks he's a funny guy. Alright, so 
seven seconds to the guys that we were once racing, seven and 12 seconds. Just been shooting myself in the foot. We got a guy who just pit. behind us. Well, easy on, yeah, it's time for, time for tires. There's a chicane coming up. Very bad pit entry. All right, good. That idiot is stuck in the pits. Oh no, he's gonna come out just slightly ahead of me. 48 seconds of optional repairs, awesome. We're not gonna bother with that. Okay, go. You only have one remaining. Yeah, if I need those, we're screwed anyways. I hate this pit exit. Alright, can we gain a bit of time on the guys that were ahead of us if they go long? Can I make these tires last a little longer? Can I remember how to drive when I have grip, even though it lasts for a lap? I'm gonna try a wide, get to the flat, smooth part of the track quicker. There's a chicane coming up. I need to put a billboard that says that. Made up some ground. Not sure how. The lead is fitting now. He's going to be a little quicker than us, though. I don't know where we were on actual speed with him, and he's only got a lap pressure tire, so I don't know how he lost so much ground, may have had an issue coming into the pits, or may have tried to cheat the pit entry and got penalty. Pulled away a bit on the guy behind. like that.
There's a chicane coming up. In fast time. Almost a 154. And we passed the 10 car. They had some, I don't know, I don't know what happened to them, but 15's pulling away, so our pursuit of him probably not going to happen, and this guy's going to probably power on by with his grip off the corner, especially if I downshift too early and start jumping around. So, into the top 20. Right now, I think I'm 19th. I'm definitely breaking way too early there, but I'm not in the wall. Please don't run into the back of me. Please don't run into the back of me. There's a chicane coming up. Bad entry. Bad everything. Dude, you got the whole inside of the track. I know it looked like I was swerving there. Go. Just pass me, damn it. Point three, four, two, clear. Somehow I underdrove the corner entry and still overdrove center there. How are we in seventeenth? What occurred on track to cause that? I guess we got one spot from the 15 screwing up there. And apparently people were trying to put in some hot laps on fresh tires. And maybe there was a big wreck. I don't know. I, mean, I haven't seen anyone off base. There's zero cars in front of me other than the 10. Uh, staying alive and now 17th. Leader's got to be coming to lap me soon, too. There's a chicane. Almost forgot because I didn't remind myself. It's just so natural to, after doing the backstretch chicane to just turn my brain off until I get to turn one here. But, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to hop in a road car and completely uh, slow down in turn three for no reason. Or turn four, sorry. Six seconds behind, keep an eye on that. Went a little faster through there than I wanted to.
getting close to 10 to go. I cannot wait till this one's over with. Fuck me. Slow down. You got a penalty? We're cutting the cord. Uh, I hate that chicane. It is so shitty. It is one of the worst designed chicanes ever. NASCAR has no fucking clue what they're doing when they com when it comes to designing chicanes. Fucking grass. I don't think I'm going to finish this one. I'm just fading mentally hard now. At least we're still five seconds ahead of the nine. I hope this is entertaining at least, watching me be this bad. It's like watching someone play a survival game. I think the 19 car is actually quicker. He's looking to make a pass on the 9. But not going to worry about that. Just got to worry about not going off track. hitting the brakes and braking for that corner because it is not worth the risk. I lose time if I'm sliding out of it. So it's all the same. car is passed. We'll have to keep an eye on how quickly he catches. In 
interesting line by the tent up there on the apron through here. One minute and fifty-seven point two nine seven. more taxing than two stints at the uh, 24. It just takes so much more concentration. Steering wheel's trying to come off the desk. We've got a new contender ahead of us. The 15 car had some issues. Or the 15th place guy, 13. Brain not working. Now it's the red car. I don't know if it's the same red car that we were sorta of near at the start. Looks like he's got some rear end damage, maybe. He's got some wiggles going on there. I don't know what that was. Uh, apparently the two car is not in contention because he is only a few spots ahead of us. Unless he just pit again and this is part of his plan. I feel like if you're near me, you're probably not near a win, no matter how fast new tires make you. One minute, fifty-seven point six one. Head to go this time, Bob. Okay, that guy is having issues. And that is sixteenth. Okay, he's just not breaking. And he keeps heating up his tires more and more and it's getting worse and worse. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I just seen him sliding around the kink. I thought he was just coming full throttle. Nineteen has caught us by a second. Very well could end up eighteenth. Oh, fuck me. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. All right. Luckily, it pointed the right direction. Kane is coming up. Lost a bit of time there. Just no overdriving stuff. Just do what I've been doing. No need to try to go fast. Yeah, 19 is catching slowly, but he's going to have to get past the 13, who's looking like he might fight for that position pretty hard because he's trying hard to catch back up. Never had that happen. Tires are starting to go back to just complete mush.
I think the uh, rec segment of this is going to be very long. There's a viewer ahead of us in 29th, the 23 car. He's probably did get wrecked early on. We'll probably see a damaged 23. That was nearly bad. And the 19 has had an issue and is no longer back there. One minute. The 35 has had an issue and thankfully realizes there's people coming. But he's a lap down, so that is not a position. We're only one spot away from what I said would be essentially a win for me. So, one mistake out of someone up front could end up handing me what I did not think was going to be anywhere close to a top 15 finish. Especially with all the mistakes I've made. Don't forget that. And pulling away from the 13, just being smooth. Oh, that was not smooth. None of that was smooth. Look at it go red, although that is to our best time, but still, we've been pretty even through the first turn on our best time. <clears throat> okay, feels like we have no braking power now. Easy on the throttle. These tires are mashed potatoes. There's a chicane. I know you're getting tired of hearing that, but I really do have to tell myself that every time. Because since I've started saying it, we've not completely missed it. 25 cars back on pit road and maybe out of the race, but he was behind us. Just got to the grass. Yeah. 
Yeah, this car is looking clean. Unless there's something we can't see. side thank you yeah he's got a big old crumpled rear in there okay so ahead We've got nothing. We're hanging even with the 10 car. I would need a big mistake out of him. He's not making mistakes. We are pretty much on a tr part of the track all by ourselves. Like, hardly anyone in front of us in the view and no one in the mirror really which is perfectly fine might mean we could avoid stupidity like the guy who ran into the back of us with his broken car But there's still one stupid driver out there that's very possibly going to wreck us. That is the three car. But finally to five to go. The end is near. I am hungry. And my brain hurts. this much throttle control as well with both legs like I have this back issue that causes a ton of pain in my shins and the way I'm seated helps a bit but long races where I'm like half throttle it's very difficult it starts to hurt Tomorrow might be painful. That is what happens when you wreck a motorcycle and go kart way too often. You end up with back problems way too early in life. Alright, nine seconds behind. Absolutely no pressure behind. I want to stay somewhat close to this guy. No way I'm going to be able to do a pass. Because that would require trying to be aggressive on throttle and braking. So if we do catch him, we're just looking to force a mistake out of him. But he's fading a bit. He is that 15th spot that I feel would be an accomplishment. But it is not worth throwing away a 16th place to try to catch and get a 15th place. If I wreck it, 
most likely going to throw one away. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. I tell you, like, fuck me. You know what? That's good. That's good. That's probably the best thing that could have happened to me, because now we're not anywhere close to that guy. I'm not thinking about, oh, maybe I can catch him. Now it's just going to be drive around the track, get to the end, no pushing the car, take my 16th place, and be happy. Two left to go. Two to go. The leader is right behind us. He is at the line. Unfortunately, he is not past the 17 and the 18, so we can't just drop back and do one less lap. because I would genuinely do that. I would gladly go a lap down to do one less lap. Who is the leader? It is the viewer, Kenneth. That is good to see. Is anyone near him? Five second lead, good job. That's a positive out of this. You have about five laps of fuel left. All right, there is a chicane coming up. We're going to go nice and slow for it. Two to go. Sorry, I, I just need to not talk for the final few laps, I think. Although, I don't know if that'll help or not. You got it, like on the oh, right. he spun it. On the right. You son of a bitch. Had I not made that mistake, had I not made that damn mistake, I could have passed him right there. <laughs> and now he's back here. Now he's got hot tires. Now I'm going to push it hard. Oh, uh, that was the 15th place there. Yep, now I'm doing stupid stuff again. Chicane is coming up. Good job, Kenneth. And it's a W, an NIS win, which is fairly tough to come by. It's 
in again. No, nope, can't get that lucky. The good news is, with all the mistakes I made, I really wouldn't have gained much more. Maybe, maybe one or two spots. So, not a terrible, terrible finish. Sixteenth. We will take it. Holy crap, that race sucked. Oh, uh, these other... The flag. These on. other races at road courses. It's Coda is going to be so hard. Road America should be fine, but... Holy crap. And... Pretty much everyone finished. 29 people finished out of 35. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Let's make sure I got sound off. And how many hours of wrecks are we going to watch? We'll watch him celebrate a bit. Lagman is going nuts with this checkered. You broke your front end. All right. Um, let's take a look at the Rex. I already went past it, didn't I? Okay. Control numpad 3 is going to move you to the next incident. A little contact with the 4 there, just two cars going into a narrow spot. 15 locks it up because he's seen some issues happening. 30 car doing his best job to run into everything. one of these guys forgets there's a chicane. It's the 16. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look how close we were. I mean, this is me. Here I am. There was a car heading straight towards me. And... Yeah. So he wasn't involved in that one. Yeah, he doesn't have rear end damage there. We'll see us sometime. Oh, you're not even going fast enough to spin there. Twenty-five plows into that guy. Five car again. Nope. No, I did that a thousand times. Yep, yep. So easy to do. I think we're going to see a lot of those. Yeah, it's just, it's, you can't touch them. 
16 somehow still going after everything. And you know what? You kind of deserve that after taking out most of the field there. Oh, are we going to see how... Eh, here. No, this isn't. Wrong, wrong white and green car. Here we go. What'd you do? Is this it? Or are you just gonna hit some? Oh, yeah. Jesus! That 16 car's a fucking moron. He's just aiming for everyone. Like, when you show up that many times in the first few laps... Are you gonna spin again? So easy to do because your tires are so hot and you're pissed off and you get on the gas. Uh oh. Saves himself from hitting that guy and doesn't turn in on the others. He's having some hot rear tire issues. Little wide, little wide, little wide. Lots of cones. This guy's having issues with turn one. I mean, he still beat me. Because he was f faster on a lot of things. Here's the 30 car. Luckily, we beat him because I don't remember seeing him wreck. Maybe... Maybe he did, and I saw it, and I've already forgotten it. This guy's forgetting about the chicane. Or is just way better at braking. Yeah, you can't go that narrow. You just, you gotta stay wide and then cut it in. 12 is having lots of issues early, too. Seen a lot of the same guys here. That's a unique line. Somehow you got lucky and didn't get wrecked by the 30. Uh oh. That's way too quick. Oh! Another big air. Oh, 29. Twenty-five, a little hot. Uh Getting going. This is okay. He does it well there, but then he's gonna snag this one like I did a thousand times. Five car having more issues, and just that's how the two. Jesus. Like you lose it, you're fine right there. And then he guns it and stops right in the middle of the track, and there's nowhere for anyone to go. Or anywhere for anyone to go. Like, if you look at... I got nothing. Like, this guy got lucky. Everyone else is just fucked. That took out a lot of guys at the front. car we've seen him run into things and now he's gonna get ran into Twenty nines having some braking issues now he was spinning out earlier and now his front tires won't work big jumps uh oh here's this guy Jesus. Miss the entry and still hit that. Alright, we're four wide, but there's a wall. Oh, 12. Having issues. Haven't seen Adam. He's blinking. 
not even a wreck. I heard a car, thought we were going to get a rear ending there. It's this moron. At that point, you're just better off missing it and slowing down. Yeah, that was never going to work. <laughs> what is this jackassery? <laughs> like... I mean, I guess, you know, racing hard, but lap 13, and now you're both damaged. I'm guessing there was more to it. Plus, then we got a guy spinning out in front of him to add to it. Too wide through the chicane. Hey, this is a car we haven't seen. And this is the 26 that eventually gets all the way back to us. Oh, he has wedged it in there a bit, and that's how he has no hood. And the 18 just sends him because the 18 is fucking clueless. Nearly get murdered there. Crunch. That's gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna hit it square on. I'm so lucky that I somehow saved this. Like, got it slowed down, at least on the pavement. Fuck, moron. Now, oh, is this stuck on me now? Oh, don't do this. Alright, well, it's broken on Rex. That sucks. Here's the car, if you didn't see the pictures of it on Twitter... Um, a little bit of a throwback to the Corvette, even though it's on a Ford, that Earnhardt ran. And somehow we get the three for this race. Fortunately, rear end's a little screwed up on it, but let's take a quick look at results, I guess. Because this video's already long, so why not make it longer? And get this pulled up. So, uh, we were actually in second split somehow. I cannot believe that. Um, go up to a 1775 I rating. It says this is using road I rating. We only get 58 points. And uh, we gained a bunch of safety rating, I guess. Only six incidents. So, positive out of that. Um, good job to Kenneth, only having one incident and winning the thing. Fast lap of a 53. Got within two seconds of him, so that's better than my qualifying, which was four seconds off. And didn't go a lap down, but it's a two-mile track. So... Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Back to Oval Racing. And, uh, wow, that was a rough one. It's tough. Uh, not, not as good as I want to be. But I survived, and I didn't wreck anyone, so I'll take that as a win. Thanks for watching.